Hi, welcome to my new video on Difference in Differences, another commonly used method in applied econometrics. Now, imagine that we have a certain event. In our example, this is going to be a drug treatment, a vaccine or something like that, and that we have panel data for several individuals at two different points in time. We have data for uh, before the event, the treatment happens, that's going to be t is equal to zero or baseline, and then we have data for after the treatment takes place, which is going to be t is equal to one, uh, the follow-up. And then we can use these uh, two periods to estimate this model here in which uh, we try to come up with an estimate of the effect of the treatment on some outcome y. Given that we have some other characteristics and that the treatment is basically a dummy variable that takes the value of 0 or 1. So basically we'll have two groups. Uh, the treatment group which is uh, when t takes the value of 1 and uh, the control group, which is when uh, t is equal to zero. And at baseline, both groups will have t is equal to zero because none would be uh, vaccinated before the treatment takes place. Then we denote t i zero is equal to zero if individual i has not been treated yet at baseline, at time zero. And then we denote t i 1 is equal to 1 if the individual has been treated at follow-up uh, that is at time 1. Now, if we wanted to estimate the treatment effect, we would have to first estimate uh, the two differences both uh, at follow-up and at baseline and then take the difference of the two. Just looking at this graph, imagine that we are at time zero, at baseline, and that this is the treatment group and this is the control group. This is going to be the difference at time zero between the two groups, and then after the treatment of the treatment group, uh, the group that has not been uh, treated just keeps going as in the same trend, and the group that has been treated improves until arriving to uh, t is equal to 1, the follow-up. We calculate the difference between the two groups at follow-up and we make the assumption that if the, treated was, if the treatment was not in place, the treatment group would have uh, followed the same uh, previous trend and uh, it would have uh, reached only this point, then uh, subtracting this difference minus this difference would yield this chunk here as the estimate of the impact of the treatment. That is, the difference in differences. We use our model and we take as reference those who will be treated uh, during the treatment, that is, those who will be t is equal to 1, at follow-up, at T1. Then we calculate the difference at follow-up between the two groups. That is, we calculate this distance here, which is just basically the expected value of the outcome at uh, follow-up if, uh, if the group has been treated uh, minus the expected value of the outcome given that the group has not been treated. That's just basically the expected value of the outcome for the treatment group at follow-up and then the expected value of the outcome for the control group at follow-up also. And we take the difference between the two. Now this is basically involves subtracting uh, this minus this, so that's zero plus beta times uh, so t equal to 1, 1 minus um, t equal to 0, 
So that's this one, so this beta plus some delta uh, times the expectation of the unobservables if the group is a treatment group uh, at follow-up and the same thing if the group is the control group at follow-up. But this term should look familiar to you. We've seen it before. We call this basically the omitted variable bias, leaving us with a difference at follow-up that is basically equal to the true estimate of that difference and some, uh, some bias at follow-up times the effect of that difference in unobservables. Now we do the same thing at baseline. We calculate the difference between the two groups. So we basically want to calculate this distance here between those who will be treated at, um, by follow-up and those who will remain untreated, the control group, by follow-up. We can do this just by subtracting the two expectations. The uh, first one for the outcome of uh, the outcome of baseline of those who will remain, uh, sorry, of those who will be treated by follow up, and the outcome of time zero of those who will remain untreated. That's basically just like uh, subtracting the expected value of the outcome of baseline of uh, the treatment group uh, minus the average outcome at baseline of the control group. Since basically no one is treated yet, there is uh, this is just zero and this is just zero, so our beta goes away and then we have uh, the always present omitted variable bias term here, which is going to show up here in the uh, estimate of the difference of the baseline. And after that, after calculating both differences at follow-up and at baseline to uh, calculate the difference in differences estimator, the only thing we have to do is just subtract the difference at follow-up minus difference at baseline. That's why it's called difference and differences and we arrive at this result, but if we make uh, a key assumption, if we assume that uh, whatever unobservable difference there is between the two groups remains uh, somewhat constant over time, thus if this thing here is just zero, because they're both the same, but they don't change over time, then this term goes to zero and we are left with the truth. And this is how we arrive to the difference in difference says estimator, which is just uh, the difference at follow-up between the treatment group and the control group and uh, that subtracted by the difference of baseline from uh, treatment to control group, which yields this uh, true estimate of the impact of the treatment. Beta. In the next video, we will look closer at what uh, this assumption means for the difference and differences uh, method to work.